in the early hours of Friday morning, an Iranian explosive UAV, likely fired from Yemen, crossed into Israel and crashed into an apartment building in the center of the city of Tel Aviv, not far away from the American embassy. In the attack, one civilian was killed and eight others were injured. Our thoughts are with the families of the victims. The Iranian UAV used in the attack was a Samad 3 and was likely upgraded to extend its flight range. The Israeli Air Force is currently examining the incident, including the reason of why no alerts were sounded. This is not a stealth UAV. This is an Iranian UAV. It was detected by our systems. We are examining the circumstances of why it wasn't intercepted. It is important to stress that this attack did not come out of nowhere. For over nine months, Israel has been fighting a multi-front war, facing continuous aerial threats from all directions, including dozens of UAVs fired from Yemen. These attacks are not just a threat to Israel, but also pose a global threat. United States Central Command and its allies have intercepted many of these Iranian-backed attacks on international shipping route in the Red Sea and also aerial threats that were directed to Israel. We are fighting a multi-front war. Hamas in Gaza, Hezbollah in Lebanon, the militias in Iraq and Syria, as well as the Houthis in Yemen, all the Iranian proxies and Iran itself. Iran is funding, arming and directing its terror proxies in their attacks on Israel and the wider world. We will not allow Iran and its proxies to terrorize our civilians and we will continue to do everything we can to protect Israel's people and borders. We're assessing now the situation and we will take the necessary actions to protect our country.